welcome back uh, dear students to the third week of uh, online classes of object oriented programming uh, this week uh, we will complete two important concepts in uh, java one is packages other is interfaces so let's start with the packages uh, package as its name implies it actually kind of compartmentalize namespace and makes it easy to manage classes in order to understand this concept you need to see how flats in pakistan are organized in dict plaza uh, just imagine if we have got only flat number then it would have been very confusing if you only say go to karachi and you have to find flat number 5 Uh, obviously you won't be having much idea uh, your question would be which flat number 5 in which plaza so the name of plaza now if you say liberty plaza so that name of the plaza is actually uh, a concept of packaging so packaging all the classes together packaging all the flats together is actually to make it easier to manage the flats to manage the classes as well as to increase the name space name space actually refers to the unique names that are available to the programmer so if you have only class names or if you have got only a flat numbers then you know that name space is very limited you have got only flat number so maybe from 1 to 1000 uh, if you have many people who are fighting for these 1000 numbers you can imagine the situation but now if you say you can use 1 to 1000 but then prefix your flat number with a plaza name maybe now you say that flat number 5 in liberty plaza then that liberty plaza actually makes your flat number 5 unique from other flat number 5 in different uh, plaza so the usage of packages in programming languages it's not only unique in java uh, even python has got packages in c++ has got packages they call them libraries so all these programming languages use uh, this the concept of packages to increase the name space and then to uh, make easier to manage uh, different units right now in java uh, if you want to define a package then we will use package statement uh, this is actually a statement right? package statement and it must be first in java source file and remember uh, to to this point whatever classes we have created they have gone to a default package and when i say default package i mean a package with no name so if you want to define your class and if you want to put them inside a package then you should use package statement which should be Uh, your first statement inside a, a java source file right uh, let me give you an example uh, i run notepad uh, here i say class uh, class say for example i say uh, balance right okay this is a class balance now this actually goes through a package uh i can call it say for example uh a bank right so this is a uh, this is a bank and inside that bank i have got a class with the name account right so this is how you actually define a package the package statement right package keyword and then name of the package and name of the package uh certainly follows the rules that we have uh, uh, already discussed for the identifier they cannot use number as a first character i mean this is uh, not right but if you do this then this is okay they can use underscore they can use dollar sign uh, they can use uh, you know uh, all these rules which apply on uh, identifiers in java are also applied on package name right so here we have got a class account and we say that is inside a package with the name bank okay now here uh, i have a default construct i have a, I have a constructor a double c o u n t a double c o u n t account right 
uh, inside account I say there will be two things that it will be accepting one will be a string which is account title initially it is null <coughs> and the second thing is uh, I will be having uh, maybe an integer number All right that will be actually an account number I can call it AC uh, AC underscore number right account number which is initially zero so whoever creates an object of uh, account class he or she will be providing us the title of the account and then account number right and then maybe some balance in the some money in the account double we call it balance which is initially zero right so i've got a class account uh, and uh, when you create this account initially you will be assigning account number and you will be assigning title and probably an initial balance so i can also write here double uh, balance right okay so here I say this dot title equal to title, title of the account, and then this dot uh, account number equal to account number, right? <coughs> and this dot balance equal to uh, balance, right? So this is actually a class with the name account, uh, which is going to uh, represent uh, account in a bank right okay uh, and then say for example I have got a method uh, which is public uh, void credit right this is a, a kind of uh, method which whenever called it will be passing some amount right as a parameter uh, yeah this is the amount that is needed to be created inside um, inside that account so i can write here balance plus equal to amount so we are going to credit this amount into balance right similarly if i have got another public uh, void uh, debit so we are going to withdraw some amount uh, if you are going to withdraw it has to return right so this should be a double maybe you can withdraw some amount uh, in a fraction right so we actually then say uh, debit well, we need amount integer or maybe double how much amount you want to debit right a m o u t right so here we say that uh, balance balance uh, minus equal to amount so we are going to debit amount from the balance and then we return this amount we say that we have uh, deducted this amount from your balance and now we are going to give you this money right so these are the two methods one is uh, credit other is debit and then i have got this account constructor uh, and this is inside the account right inside the uh, package bank okay great now what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to have another class another class and uh, I can call this class account demo right so this is public static void void main a string a r g right okay and then here i say account uh, yeah account a equal to new account and i have to pass you know three things account title so say for example the account title is navid uh, he has done a very good job in setting up uh, many good things for these online classes account number here I need to provide the type eh? account number the type is integer okay 
so then I provide account number so I say this is the account number right and then balance so initially we say for example have this balance we create this and then I say system dot out dot print it right uh, maybe here I've got a true string class if you remember true string we are overriding from object class and true string is actually automatically called when we print object of that class so this true string method public is string true string right this does nothing this just returns uh, this just returns you know the title mm, equal to uh, title right and then plus uh, plus ac number right uh, account number equal to uh, plus ac number and then plus uh, balance equal to plus uh, it should be balance right should be balance uh, do not wear drive okay so you can see here we are going to return uh, this formatted string which is going to uh, return all these things uh, title account number uh, and then balance right okay so once we have done this I can write here a so you know when you print a this will actually when you print a this will actually call to a string method because a is reference of account and inside object of account we have this true string method defined which is going to return this string right okay now comes the actual understanding remember when you create when you do not have this statement this class account and this class account demo both of them would go to a default package but when you have got this statement written here it means that account and account demo both of these classes will go to a package named bank now remember that uh, it's a kind of Java's rule that when you are defining a package inside a class then you will have to save it inside a directory uh, which should be having same name as the bank name right so say for example if I want to save this inside C, I have program files, program files, I have Java, uh, JRE, inside bin, you know, we usually save it here. Uh, but now, because it is inside a package bank, so you need to create a directory with a name, uh, bank, right and then inside bank you will save it uh, with the name uh, as your class name so account demo dot java right i need to copy this path account demo dot java save oh, oh, oh. i cannot save it because of uh, you know restriction no problem i can go to documents okay here i create a folder with the name bank right okay and then inside bank I am going to save it right account demo dot Java so I copy this and then I save okay now I go to CMD mm, let's see Java C is running yes CLS Java is also running okay great so CLS I say cd to this path now if you see the directory I have got a uh, account demo here right but remember I cannot compile account demo from here see here probably I can compile but I cannot run java c account demo dot java uh, semicolon is expected here okay right so java c you can see uh, this dot title is equal to title this dot title equal to 
this dot title equal to title okay java c right now i can compile it you can see uh, account dot class is there account demo dot class is there and account demo dot java was already there i cannot run it from here you will see the issue java account demo dot class right could not find a load main class account demo you know why because now the name of this account demo is not only account demo but its name is actually a uh, bank dot account demo bank dot account demo as i told you earlier now your flat number is not only your flat number but also prefixed by the compartment name so when you say flat number five you will have to say flat number five in liberty plaza so liberty plaza dot five actually qualifies the flat number five in liberty plaza so here account demo because it is inside package bank so you cannot run uh, you know directly account demo if you want to run it then you will have to obviously prefix it with the name of the package now when you are sitting inside bank you cannot refer bank i mean this is a kind of operating system limitation if i write here java bank dot uh, account demo obviously i cannot do it because i'm sitting inside bank right so if you are, if i want to refer to bank then i have to be one step back here obviously it will not compile it will not run you can see here so i need to go one step back so cd double dot now i am here you can see here i have a directory with the name uh, bank with the name bank right now i can write here this statement java c bank dot account demo it means that i want to run account demo which is inside a bank package obviously for operating system it is directly directly but actually uh, it's a package right you can see here it now works title equal to uh, you know uh, navigate account equal to this and all these things so you saw that when you put a class inside package then that class is not the only class name but it is actually name of the class and prefixed by name of the package right and when you want to run it then you have you will have to be one step ahead so the rule is when you want to put a class inside a package you use this package statement rule number two is uh, this package must be uh, this class must be stored in a directory with the uh, same name as the package name if you do not do that then obviously program will not compile just for your learning purpose let me save it uh, this account demo inside java I'm, I'm saving it here now right rather than saving inside bank directory i'm going to save inside java directory right you know that there is no error in the code but still your compiler will complain it will say that you should put uh, this file inside a bank directory because it is uh, uh, having a package statement right so i say java c Mm, account demo dot java uh, java c account demo dot java java account demo uh, you can see directory mm, directory of uh, you can see i cannot compile it from here uh, because the name of account demo is now the name uh, which is the uh, you know bank dot account demo right so you got the idea so the idea is when you want to create a package use package statement point number two save this inside you know directory with the name of the package uh, and then when you want to compile it you can sit in the same folder but when you have to run it you will have to go one step ahead right okay so this is the basic package understanding uh, and by the way, you can have sub packages as well. I can write here, maybe I say bank dot uh, abl dot sakhar iba, right? So you can say now the uh, there is a bank whose name is abl and this account is at sakhar branch. 
when you have got uh, this type of arrangement uh, which is actually kind of uh, uh, this bank is a package and this is sub package inside bank and this is sub package inside ABL right so Sakar IV and ABL both of them are sub packages now remember when you have got this type of arrangement then you will have to save account inside a folder Sakar IV which is actually stored inside a folder ABL and which in turn is stored inside a folder bank it means that your directory, the hierarchy of your directory should reflect your package and sub packages. Right. So in, in this scenario, you should actually save this file bank and inside bank, you should create a new folder uh, ABL and then inside ABL, you should create a new folder uh, sector IBA uh, and then inside sector IBA, you can store account demo dot java account demo dot java right now remember the advantage of packages and sub packages is actually to increase your namespace now if you are in same package say for example inside bank you can have only one account right but if you have got another account inside bank true which is package true that's completely fine right it is same as you've got flat number five so you can have only flat number five in the world but when you say flat number 5 inside Liberty, you say, okay, now you can have flat number 5, maybe in another plaza. So having these packages in programming languages actually increase the namespace and now you can obviously have any number of packages in Java. Right, but when you have got sub packages, uh, you will have same directory structure as the, uh, you know, sequence of the uh, sub packages. Now, if you want to compile that account demo inside bank ABL Sakhar IBA, then you need to write here Java C bank dot AB <coughs> bank dot uh, ABL yes bank dot ABL dot Sakhar IBA uh, dot account demo dot Java. Mm. Uh, maybe you, you, you can cd to bank cd to uh to 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 abl right and cd to uh sakharai b branch right you can write here java c account demo dot it will compile but it cannot run here you know that right because now the name of account demo is not only account demo but its name is actually the name prefixed by whole directory structure it means that <coughs> if you want to run it then you will have to come obviously three steps back you will sit inside java and then you will say java uh, then bank bank dot a b l dot i b a and then dot account demo you can come, you can run it like this right you can see here I need to qualify account demo with a uh, whole package hierarchy. This actually gives me a lot of options. Eh? Now I can have account demo in another package uh, with the same name. Okay, so you got this idea of creating a package and then uh, overall, uh, you know, theoretical concept about the packages. Uh, finding package and sub subclass, uh, as I told you earlier, uh, if you set this subclass, I mean, if you set the path, then account demo can be directly accessed. Say, for example, if I say, uh, if I say, maybe path equal to, I set a path for, uh, uh, you know, this whole, uh, maybe if I say as, I set a path for, uh, uh, IBA. Mm, you can see it I say path equal to this right now I can write here Java account demo dot Java let's see uh, Java C Java C oh sorry actually my you know path has been overwritten uh, for Java C I need to set it again uh, because I said path for uh, Sakhar IBA, so my Java C path has been replaced. Now I cannot run Java C. You can see here, 
And if you want to set your path again, you need to find where is your Java. I have it in program files, uh, Java, JDK, Ben. Right, I need to set this path. So path equal to this so that I can at least run my Java C. Right, uh, but if you want to set both path and then you can use semicolon. Eh? Okay, maybe here, save as, I get this path. Right, okay, so control V, now it should be okay. Java C, okay, Java, okay, CLS, Java uh, C account demo dot Java. You can see here, now, although I do not have account demo here, but I still could compile because path was set directory account demo star let's see uh, yeah I already have this java file here so maybe I can delete it first I should remove it from here uh, right okay so I can come to bin c uh, that's my document right? in documents java account account demo okay let's remove everything from here right okay now if i want to compile account demo uh, cannot find account demo java c uh, okay I, I need to compile it by using the path eh? bank slash uh, bank slash abl uh, slash uh, slash ipa you can also use this this format eh? this is actually operating system thing now if you say java account demo uh, you cannot run it because you know that the name of this file is not only the name of the file but it is also the package name ab a B L dot sucker IBA and then dot account demo. Now I can run it. Right. So you got the idea of creating packages and then the directory structure for the packages. Okay, great. I stop uh, this lecture here uh, and when I come back, I'll be talking about uh, packages and access modifier. You remember uh, we discussed in class of access modifier that I uh, will revisit access modifier when we will be covering packages. So this is the time to revisit uh, Java's access modifier and then see how they behave when we uh, are in different packages structure. Right. Uh, thank you very much.